When I started recording videos, I hated it. I really, really found it hard. I would get on camera and then when I, I would be, oh, I don't like the look of myself and I, I didn't say that right. And then when I would go back and watch the video, like that was the worst. I hated the sound of my voice and I really, really struggled. And then, I, so what I would do, I, I would record a long video, and, like 15 minutes, just me talking like that. And then I'd say, ah, oh, I scratched myself or maybe one of the children jumped in or I lost my train of thought. And so I would then have to record the whole thing again. And I realized, boy, I was really putting myself under a lot of pressure. So in this video, I just want to share with you a little bit about my story and how I got confident on video because a lot of people ask me about it and how long it took. And the truth is it took 10 minutes. 10 minutes. <laughs> so let me share with you about what, how, how it is that I got confident on video. I'm promising you I'm not going to edit this video at all. I'm not going to be taking out any of the ums and ahs. And it's just going to be me talking on camera. And so if you still want to watch this, the reason that you'll be watching it is because you want, you know that you really, really should be doing video. And I'm not saying everybody should, but you know that you should, but you don't know how you're going to get around it. So I'm going to share with you some of the mistakes that people usually make, mistakes that I definitely made, and I'll also share with you some of the benefits of being able to record a video just like this, really without any editing or anything. So first of all, as you know, YouTube is absolutely exploding. It's now May 2021 in the last quarter of uh, 2020 YouTube ad revenue went up by 46%, which is like phenomenal. That, that's a quarter growth <laughs> in one in one quarter of a year. And year on year, so 2020 compared to the previous year, YouTube ad sales grew 49%. So there's a huge amount of YouTube ad revenue and obviously just there's just people are spending a lot more time at home watching videos now Here is why this is relevant to you When you are going on video when you are going on YouTube to watch something you're probably thinking you're probably there to consume stuff You're there to watch Probably to learn. Okay, maybe of course you could be there to be entertained, but I'm talking about those tutorial sort of videos, just like this one. Now, why, when you're coming to consume, you're coming as the audience, as the viewer, as the judge. Is this good or not? Am I gonna click away? Do I like this thumbnail? And you're sitting there almost in judgment of somebody like me, which is totally fine. But now, when you create videos, if you're thinking I've got to get in front of an audience and they're judging me, then that's going to be really hard <laughs> for your for your video career. Because here's why. You're not there just to be just to create an audience or just to inform them. What you are probably hoping to do uh, is is really transform them, is to get them to implement, to get them to execute. And so I want to invite you, and because this was the transformation for me, I want to invite you to stop thinking of people as an audience or as critics. Now, I'm, if you are creating YouTube videos, definitely you need to know who your audience is. But I don't want you to be thinking of it as you performing and them approving or disapproving. Okay? And the reason I don't want you to do that uh, is that that makes it more of your on show in, and less of a dialogue. And that's where you lose people. That's where you lose people because you're not talking to them the way that I'm talking to you one on one. Okay? You're talking to them like you're performing. 
and that's going to that's going to that's going to create a barrier between you and them but it's also in your mind is going to hold you back totally when it comes to creating videos so here was the shift so i'm just checking my notes here is that you're not going on tv you're not going to win an oscar you don't have to have a youtube kind of standard whatever that is in your mind that's not what you need to do the, there's that and you also don't need any fancy equipment hey if you've got a good microphone a good external microphone and a quiet area then that's better but you don't have to okay well all right the microphone itself is the audio is very is is more important okay you don't want to have scratchy and uh, really noisy background and people can't work out what's going on but your audio uh you don't need to be buying the equipment i'm using right now i'm using just the daylight coming in i'm facing a window and i am using a fancy microphone and i'm just my webcam and my youtube channel currently has uh, about 3400 subscribers and uh, all of my videos have been done like that some of them have just been done just with the phone so what i'm trying to tell you in this video is to cut out the middleman the middleman is i've got to get this equipment right or i've got to be an actor or i've got to be a celebrity or i've got to have all of the fancy you know video editing and so on yes of course there are many videos uh, and and you do grow as you go with those things but what i'm saying is to cut out the middleman and make it a dialogue so don't start out with hi guys or hi everyone okay it's one on one you're talking to me okay that's who you make the video for one person solving one problem now so make it a dialogue so you talk through the camera instead of talking at the camera do you see the difference my first videos when i first started creating videos i i put up a course on udemy and um it was like the i, I look absolutely robotic okay i look totally wooden now i did use notes which is just what i'm doing now i've got some notes here and I did use notes, but I, 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 I was just thinking in my mind as I was recording this video, like this is four or five years ago, I was thinking, I look terrible. I didn't say that right. I was judging myself the whole time. And that is going to be fatal for your YouTube journey. Now, it's not just about YouTube. It's about creating videos in other contexts. And I'll give you some very simple examples um a few years ago i was applying for jobs i was trying you know it, 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 and the job ads sometimes said you uh, to include an introductory video include a one minute video telling us about yourself and i immediately cut myself off i said that, that i can't do that because i can't do video okay <laughs> how frustrating that is like just how limiting it is you think about it if you're doing i don't know tutoring english or business coaching or job application there's so many situations where you may just need to be able to record a one or two minute video it's a superpower it's not about going viral some of those job application things are only going to be seen by one person and that's okay it's not about getting big numbers it's not about going viral it's about getting your message across and not focusing on the medium so what things can i help you here uh, do right now i've already told you about don't worry about the technology second thing is uh is forget about is to focus sorry not forget is to focus on the things that you are expert at that you are already good at because you think about it when you're putting up a video and it's one of your early videos maybe your first one putting it up on youtube and you want it to get a lot of views and you want it to get your subscribers and 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 then you're talking about something that like is really high stakes it's something that you are really 
maybe something that you're not good at or you've got to be doing some comedy or something entertaining something funny and it just doesn't work out you're putting yourself under incredible pressure and so don't bite off more than you can chew imagine if i taught you hey here's how to cook a, a dinner like a thanksgiving dinner or a christmas dinner or something like that like that would be enormous pressure if i've never been on video before even if i know how to cook <clears throat> It would be much better for me to make a short video on how to boil an egg. That's an egg. Okay? Now, some other things. So, the, the real key here is that you're not going to win an Oscar. Keep it as a dialogue. Keep it as a conversation. And if it works out easier, I, I think recording a video on your own is a, nearly the hardest way to, to start. <laughs> Because there's nobody else there and there's no one else in the audience saying, hey, you're doing really well. And so you're there saying you're doing really badly. You're there judging yourself and saying, I'm no good. Okay, this is ugly. I'm a perfectionist and uh, it's not working out. So that's what I think is the big, big shift that you need to make. And so... How can you take yourself, take yourself off the camera? In fact, on my YouTube channel, uh, my most popular videos with like 180,000 views, 200,000 views, <clears throat> have all been about how do I appear on camera? How do I turn off the camera? And then when I turn off the camera, I can see my picture there, my profile picture. So how, on Zoom, for example. So how do I, how do I change my profile picture on Zoom? Those have got me like three quarters of a million views. And they're very simple videos. Just go for one minute, three minutes, something like this. So what I'm trying to tell you is that if you're feeling that nervousness, then the people you're talking to, they will, that, that will, that's good. The people that you're talking to will understand. They'll say, hey, I know what that's like. I know what you're going through. Makes you relatable. But if you want to take yourself off the camera, there's a lot of ways of doing that. So one is to do a screencast. So a screencast is when, for example, you've got a Google Doc or you've got some diagram or an infographic or a picture or something, and you don't actually turn up on camera at all. And you're just talking. So it's almost like radio, but you're pointing out, oh yeah, this part of the screen and that part of the screen. Because nobody's really interested in watching you for, for this long, right? And then, so make it more of less focus on you. Another one, another way of doing it is to make it a conversation. So you have a Zoom call uh, with somebody, for example, and you have a conversation. And so that's a really good way of doing, uh, of making, of taking the pressure off yourself and thinking, am I good enough? Okay. Um, if you're worried about how you look, do you worry about that when you go shopping? Uh, when you when you go out, you're worried about how you look on camera. I mean, do you wear a paper bag over your head at all times? <laughs> because I don't want people to see me? No. Because what's happening is when you're worried about how you look is that you're thinking through the camera and you're thinking of the people being an audience. But I don't want you to be thinking about it as an audience. I want you to think of it as a conversation. Okay? Okay. Uh, and you're there to help. You're there to serve. Uh, and now, the other thing that you can do is to try, you can make, you make your little picture just on, you know, the bottom of the screen, just a little corner, have your picture there. And then the focus is very much on the screen itself. Another thing that you can do is, uh, is, oh yeah, is when you think about, uh, is to make short videos. Okay, not like this one. <laughs> this is not a short video. I've got no idea how long I've been going, but I'm just going to put it up there uh, because it's a dialogue, because it's com a conversation. So how does this tie in with the Tech Tips channel? Well, a lot of the problem, a lot of the problems that, there are a lot of the reasons people come to this channel is because they're hoping the technology will get them through something uh, that maybe they're even feeling emotionally and hopefully the technology will save save them. For example, it, uh, can you show me how to turn off my camera when I go onto a Zoom call? Okay, I'm hoping the technology will save me. Well, that's okay. So 
so just my focus here my, my point here is try not to focus too much on the technology or on the tools in fact try not to focus too much on yourself <laughs> and how bad you are and just make it a conversation okay uh now last thing i i, I wanted to tell you or well, two things one is that if you're worried about how you sound that's normal okay because you don't hear when you're talking and when you listen back to yourself you sort of think i sound really funny that's because when you're talking when you're talking in real life you're hearing your voice the, you're actually producing the voice as well as hearing it it like it's it's a bit artificial that's not how we hear you what you hear on camera that's how we hear you and if you don't like it stop talking for the rest of your life <laughs> stop talking don't ever talk to anybody not your family nobody because that's that voice that you've got is the voice that we know and love and you don't have to like it we love it okay that's you you're never going to be anybody else okay and then uh the last thing i wanted to tell you was just to remind you what a superpower it is to be able to go on video whether or not you create a YouTube channel, it's a huge ability to be able to put your name out there, to be able to speak, to be able to record a one or two minute video. I did it for a real estate just a couple of weeks ago. And she said, but can we really do that? Could we really do that for, for YouTube? And I said, watch this. And I got my, my phone and I hit the record button and I started recording and I said, hi, I'm Anthony English and I'm a real estate agent. And you're probably asking about when's the best time to sell. Well, that, so that's what I did. And she was blown away. She said, you can just do that. I said, yeah, of course, I'm not going to publish that video, but it really- I don't know what you mean by- Be quiet, Siri. But it was really a superpower to be able to do it. it yeah, does it take practice? Yes. Does it take techniques? Yeah, probably. I've never had any acting practice. Does it take confidence? No. What it takes is conversation. Conversation, not confidence. Okay? And yeah, you will, be, you will become more confident, but bear in mind, it's not about you. It's not about the audience. They're judging you. Okay? It's about you serving some people who you need to serve. Some people will like it. Some people will say it's too long. Some people won't like it at all. Some people will think you're silly. Some people will think you look goofy. Who cares? Okay? You're there to serve somebody. Let me use one last analogy and then I promise I'll end this video. <laughs> Imagine that you are out on the beach and you know how to swim. And there's somebody out there in the surf and they are struggling. And you're there and you notice and you're the only person who can save them mm-hmm okay so you know you know the are you going to stand on the beach and say you know what my 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 swimming costume what I'm wearing like it's it's not really the right color or oh, my swim stroke isn't right of course not you're going to go out and and help them that's what you're here to do not to give information but to give a transformation, to get people doing stuff, okay? Not just consuming. That's what this video is about. I have got no idea if it's even gonna get one view. <laughs> I don't care. I'm gonna publish it as is. This is Anthony English signing off. Thank you. <laughs>